Hi everybody, Grandma Diane here. It's time for Grandma Diane's story time. We are at Friday already. My goodness, the weeks go fast, don't they? And as promised, I told you yesterday we would be reading uh, Zen Pig, uh, The Art of Gratitude. Now, the Zen Pig books are a new um, series of books by Mark Brown. And I believe the illustrator is always um, Amy Lynn Lawig. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure of that fact. Um, I remember reading in, um, in Mark Brown's uh, biography uh, about the fact that when he had children, when he and his wife had children, is when they decided that they needed to start writing some books uh, that would um, teach good things uh, to children everywhere. And um, I'll, I'll look into that a little more and tell you more about it on Monday. But um, for now, let's just read Zen Pig, The Art of Gratitude. Does anybody know what gratitude means? Well, if you said being thankful for things that you receive and things that you have, you are right. And so we're going to be looking at the art of gratitude today with Zen Pig. And I love these end pages. Aren't they just the cutest? All the pig faces. They are so cute. And you know what? They would be so easy for you to draw. You could just get a nice big sheet of drawing paper and draw pig faces away and see if you could find some different ones than what... Uh, what Amy found here to use in the book. Zen Pig, The Art of Gratitude, written by Mark Brown and illustrated by Amy Lim Lynn Lawig. And then it says, spread the love with Zen Pig, dedicated to my son Noble, who is already a far better man than I. I love you. That's a nice dedication, isn't it? Okay, so here we have Zen Pig. Eons ago, on a green grassy knoll, lived a pleasant little pig who always seemed quite whole. <laughs> His little tail. <laughs> he enjoyed his life much more than the most because he took the time to look at things close. Look at, he's looking at a little caterpillar on the stem of a flower. Hmm. Whenever, wherever he was, he was always there, ready and willing to be fully aware. That's a good thing to be, fully aware of where you are and what's going on around you. That Zen pig is special, is what others would say. Yet Zen pig denied and said, I'll show you the way. And here he's got a little fox and a little rabbit. Care for each other as much as yourself and never lose sight that love is true wealth. Now, how important is that? Taking care of each other and remembering that love means everything. Love is worth more than everything in the whole world. And when you speak, choose your words with care. Only kindness and compassion will ease others' despair. So what he's saying there is that when you go to say something, think about it first. And don't hurt other people's feelings by what you say. You need to be kind to everyone. We all make mistakes so forgive yourself fast. Don't expect to be perfect or our happiness won't last. We all make mistakes, so forgive yourself fast. 
Don't expect to be perfect or happiness won't last. Oh, a lot of truth there, too. Um, when I was teaching first grade, I used to have hanging in my classroom a sign that said, uh, we all make mistakes. Learn from your mistakes and grow from them. Forgive yourself when you make a mistake. It's okay. Look at, he's cleaning up the mess and getting on with it, isn't he? Looks like they were going to have tea and the tea spilt, and that's okay. As long as you clean it up and take care and move on. Things happen. Never waste time thinking of the future or the past. Just enjoy this moment and all that it has. Be thankful for all that you have. There is no need for more. You have everything that's needed to walk through Happy's door. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> he has a big ice cream cone there, doesn't he? <laughs> well, I haven't shown you what the words look like. This says here, when someone's in need, don't think, just act. Give all that you can and don't hold back. And that's the picture for it. The nest fell and so he made them a, a bird's uh, house to keep their nest in. When someone's in need, don't think, just act. Give all that you can and don't hold back. Somebody needs the shirt that you're wearing on your back, you can give it to them, that's okay. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> Listen to my words and follow the path. Then you too will sit atop the knoll with the green, green grass. And there's Zen Pig. And he says, Namatast, and that means the light in me loves the light in you. And then we have Zen Pig, and it says here, name, age, date. And you don't need the book to do this. You could turn the paper over that you were using for to draw the little pig faces. Just a circle and the ears, two triangles, and then a round nose. And then change the face, that's all you can. Remember, you were going to do that to, to look like uh, the beginning of the book, the end pages. And then, after you've written your name, age, and the date, then Zen Pig has a question for you, and it says, what is one thing that you are grateful for? but you have more than one line. You can write lots of answers in there. Try and think of the things that you are grateful for or thankful for is what grateful really means. And of course, you're going to start out with family, mom and dad, brothers, sisters, home, all those kinds of things. And then, you know, think even further, think even deeper and come up, up with some other things that you're thankful for. Like, oh, the sunshine maybe, a nice cool glass of water on a hot day, um, uh, the river or a lake where you can go swimming, green grass to lay in and dream, the clouds, oh my, you can go on and on and on. There are so many things that we have to be grateful for, or thankful for, and you can write them all on your paper. And if you want, you can send them to me at Diane Davies, 48 at yahoo.com and I'll be glad to share them next week with the other boys and girls. It would be interesting to see how many of those we will get. And then that's the end of our story and we have the lovely pig faces once again. Smiles and frowns and red ears, pink ears. Fun, just a fun story. 
And this says on the back, in his introductory story, Zen Pig teaches others gratitude, presence, and compassion. So that's what all the different things were in this story. Gratitude, being thankful for things, presence, being there, being in the moment, um, enjoying the moment for what it is and not missing it because we're worrying about something in the past or something in the future. And compassion, having love for one another and the people around us. And then it says, care for each other as much as yourself and never lose sight that love is true wealth. Interesting. That's a, a lovely statement. Care for each other as much as yourself and never lose sight that love is true wealth. That is a beautiful statement. And there are um, six books in the Zen Pig um, series. This was book one, and next week, the first couple days in the week, we're going to be looking at um, some of the other books from Zen Pig as well. Um, they're pretty simple books, but they're bit very profound and, and lots of wonderful lessons for us to learn in there. So be ready on Monday. If you have some of the books, grab book two and book three. I think that's what we're going to take a look at on Monday and uh, bring it along. You can read along with me. That's always fun. Remember, if you want, you can write down uh, your answers to Zen Pig's question right here. What's one thing you are grateful for? And if you don't know how to spell it, you can draw it too. That works just as well. And then send it to me at davies 48 at yahoo.com. All right, that's it for our story time for today. And actually for this week, it is Friday. So have a good weekend. Um, it's supposed to be really hot tomorrow here in Minnesota. So, you know, drink lots of water and kind of find a cool place uh, so that you don't get dehydrated and overheated by the sun and all that good stuff. Take a book with you. Find a good spot to read. And we'll see you on Monday at 11 o'clock for Grandma Diane's Storytime. Bye now.